It's Martin outside the Etihad Stadium. The one thing that's great about weather like this in Manchester is we all wear cool coats. The furry hood. What have we done? And with the Burnett brothers, boys, was it just about winning today? It was about winning. Three points to close the gap again, wasn't it? But we completely dominated the game, didn't we? I think so. I have to say for Everton, from, from their perspective, they didn't get out of the traps until like the last 15 minutes for me. No, I think, well, second half, I think we were just saying, I think Barkley made a bit of a difference for them, but they only had the one chance, which was Lukaku. It was a great save from Joe. Um, so, yeah, we were well worth the win, I thought, really, to be honest. In, in terms of Sergio, we know he's prospectively could be a big loss. <laughs> yeah. How big a loss? <laughs> well, without him at Roma, you saw with putting Pozo on, it's just... It's like a kid and a man, isn't it? The, the difference between them. Jacko's got to come on and he's got to start performing. Um, hopefully it's just a dead leg. To me, it looked like it might have been a dead leg, but we don't know. If, if it was anything serious, I think they'd have stretched him off, wouldn't they? And I'm, I'm hopeful. I, I'm genuinely hopeful. I'm, I'm hopeful simply for the fact that um, without Sergio, I don't think we're the force we are. Certainly in oh, Europe. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Well, we're not there though are we we haven't got the movement in the box we haven't got somebody he's what was it the fox in the box wasn't it that they used to call Lineker I think it was and he's that movement inside there we don't have it when he's not there we miss it massively in terms of uh, as we said before three points massive because obviously Newcastle Newcastle took the win now it's back to three Mourinho was talking a lot probably three weeks ago it was eight points at that point now it's three where are we looking as Blues well, I think if you look at the run of games we've got now in December, every single one of them is winnable. You know, it's no, it's no disrespect to all the other teams, but I think we, we should get three points from every single game, basically. So all it can do is put pressure on them, so I think it'll probably be level points by the end of the year. Well, I said, I've, I've said when Chelsea got beat before, it's now in our hands, win today, win every game, and we've won the league. So, Premier League, three points behind as we tiptoe to Rome, yeah. right? Because we, we've been here, these boys <laughs> have been here right from the off, right? And um, we've had, it feels like it's been a bit of a roller coaster already as part of a season. But really, that Rome result could really turn it to the point of anything's possible again. Well, the Bayern, the Bayern game was the turning point, wasn't it? When we turned that round and got the win. And I think from there, we've just been, we've been so powerful against teams. I don't think uh, we've dominated the game in all areas of the pitch. You see closing down, there was a spell at Sunderland the other day when we were 4 1 up and their player had the ball on the wing and four players were going and closing the ball. And that's what we're doing now. We're starting to hunt in packs and not letting teams settle. Yeah, and you can see team. it. Yeah. yeah, they're totally working as a team, as you say. Hey, it was nice actually today. He actually sort of gave Nazi that sort of basically a free roll and he, he just blossomed really today. Yeah, it was superb. superb. Today. Yeah, yeah, excellent. So I, th I think for me, Sammy Nasri has just come into form probably when we needed him. With, if there is an injury to Aguero, what would be your front line against Rome? What would be your well, front it's line? The same, it's the same team as today, but Dzeko in for... I've, I put Dzeko in for Con. that's the only difference. And the big, the big thing about uh, Edin Dzeko that people might forget is the fact that in the Champions League, he's arguably better in, than in the Premier League. We've seen him yeah. go to Real Madrid and, and run yeah. their back line on his own. Yeah, he's well, a big, powerful lad, isn't he? And they don't like that against them, do they? They don't like someone with a bit of power. They like it in front of them. They like it on the deck in front of them. And they won't get that with Jacko, will they? The only worry is with Jacko because he's missed, a, he's missed a little bit of time with injury. It takes him a little bit. He's not sharp straight away. You saw tonight, he was on his heels a few times. I mean, I know Wednesday night's a bit close to me. But, yeah, as Mike said, he's going to be the ideal replacement. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Let's hope it's not good night Vienna and it's a good night in Rome. <laughs> Blue Moon Rising TV, subscribe below.